and we back today i'm accepting an old classic my league challenge with a little bit of a spice the klt 4q twist i remember one of the first my league videos i ever seen was a csv video where he was accepting every trade offer from other gms if you don't know the premise you turn trade frequency up to a 100 and whenever another gm offers you a trade you have to say yes regardless if you're getting finessed or not and that was one of my favorite videos man so i'm, I'm bringing that challenge to it with my own spice which is like I'm still going to be rebuilding on the fly. So if Daryl Morey offers me P.J. Tucker for LeBron James, I have to say yes. But that don't mean I'm stuck with P.J. Tucker because I can flip P.J. Tucker to nothing amazing because it's P.J. Tucker. But you get what I'm saying. And another one of those challenges. Well, I will not end the video until we are successful. So GMs can be finessing me for 10 years. It's not going to happen. I can't go 10 years without getting a championship. Be sure to leave a like on the video, man. Uh, you guys have been killing the like button when I threaten you, so... If you don't leave a like on this video, me and you are going to have some real problems. Real life problems. And everybody's happy when there's no problem. So leave a like and subscribe if you're new, man. We're trying to hit a million and I can't hit a million without your help. All right, let's go over. And I, I got to show you the settings we're playing with. First of all, we turned off salary cap. And then we also turned off all the trade restrictions. No trade deadline, so if you want to trade my best player for your worst player the day before the playoffs i have to say yes all the restrictions are gone and trade frequency is up to 100 now let's randomly select our team i'm gonna keep it a buck with you i was in the middle of this challenge we're playing with the kings today i was in the middle of this challenge <sighs> this is heartbreaking let me explain to you what just happened i was in the middle of this challenge y'all and we were winning games and stuff and then i looked at the schedule and i was like yo this does not look like the normal amount of games. And I accidentally changed the amount of games in the season to 50-something. So I had to restart the whole video. And you know what makes it even worse? We had the first overall... I had Giannis. I had Giannis. Oh, my God. I promise you this don't look like a fool. Am I tripping? How many... Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit here and count. Because I cannot be going insane. Right now, we are 16 games in. How did I end up on 58 games? I just need to... Hey, right, here we go. We back into it. You know what I'm saying? Um, whew, I mean, I had Giannis. And now, now for the video, I'm going to have, oh, I, well, well, you know, I don't have Giannis, but I got Bam, Chris Middleton, Lou Wild. This is the team, y'all. I'm heartbroken. I'm heartbroken. Compared to where we were at, this is nothing. Nothing. All right, so I can't make my first trade until, boom, we get offered our first trade. Julius Randle for Clint Capella? I would actually do that deal. So um, let's accept. Yes, sir. So, okay, now that we have a deal done, we can go out there and build our own. And what makes it worse is that I was already behind on my schedule. Usually, this video will be done, edited, and uploaded by now. I'm already behind on my day. And the fact that I had to restart the whole video, we, we tried in the, uh, to the Pistons. I, I want to get Paul George. I know he's going to be a, a player that is not untouchable. We have a guy like Chris Middleton. They're not going to say yes to that. But we throw them, um, I throw them Grant Williams and maybe a pick. Wait, first of all. Um, our pick is, no, no. If I'm using this pick, it's, it's for a superstar. Let me see if there's somebody that's not untouchable. Y'all know, <laughs> y'all know how these things go, though. All the superstars will be untouchable. So, legit, Paul George is the best, highest overall player of an untouchable guy. So, there's that. Unless, I mean, Kyrie is still there, too. But every <laughs> everybody else is going to be untouchable. Which is bad. I'm trading for Kyrie instead. I'd rather have the guard, um... Kyrie Irving, when I'm playing against, playing with Bam Adebayo, Kyrie hit the shots, do all of that. With that pick being so valuable, okay, 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 okay. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna make everybody the position they should be. So give me a second. If the, is it possible? Cal Kuzma's two and a half star, two star Jaleel Okafor in this pick. Two picks. My second pick's probably gonna be pretty good too. Is it possible for us to keep? I'm, I will. I'm gonna give up Lou Williams instead deal wow okay okay so i got chris middleton to stay on to the team w's 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 okay all right let's keep simming let's keep simming we got this the star and you chris middleton for lamarcus oh my god that's actually a bad trade it's actually a bad trade all right but we got to do it so, but i can build my own now i think we could probably steal trade for paul george if we wanted to i forget what team he was on paul george paul george where are you there he is the pistons oh my god his value has gone even up it wasn't just that a couple seconds ago was it LaMarcus, okay, it's down now. We give you LaMarcus. We give you... Yeah, Javon doesn't have as much value as I thought. So, the Okafor, 
we give you the Hawks pick that we just got in the trade. We give you another one of our firsts. And now we got seconds. Deal. Okay, new big three in town. Kyrie, Paul George, and Bam Adebayo. Kyrie, Paul George, and Bam Adebayo is the big three. Cool. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm living. We have to trade Kyrie Irving, though. Do you see why this challenge sucks and is good at the same time? Kyrie Irving and a, a very good pick from the Knicks. We sent him right back. We just traded him. We just traded for him from the Knicks. They're like, you know what? We have we have a remor buyer's remorse, seller's remorse, and we want him back. And guess what? I can't do anything but accept. Ah, and usually with these trades too, guys, you cannot trade back for a guy that you had already traded for. I'm gonna talk to the Raptors. Um, he's just so he's just so Raptors that even in a fantasy draft world, he still ends up there. That's not gonna be enough, of course. Lou Dory's not as valuable as he should be. Oh my God! I'm not. Do I'm, am I doing this? I am doing this. Okay, whatever, whatever. Fight me, fight me. He was the best point guard available that was not named Kyrie Irving and was not untouchable. But we have to trade him away. I am gonna lose my mind on this challenge. Y'all, I am going to lose it. I'm losing it all. Y'all know Drummond is really good at Sim, so I'm going to bring Drummond onto the team, and he is going to start at center. Um, I have an idea for another trade. Hopefully, they don't trade this trade piece away. I mean, so far, the trades have been plenty, plentiful. Well, well, we just traded our starting point guard for Jordan Bell, so our new starting point guard is Chason Chas Randall. Can I get De'Aaron Fox so I give him that pick? I'll give you seconds. They want, they want two picks and they exchange me one. How about you keep Wancho? I don't need Wancho. And from Jordy Bell. Cool. So I gave that deal, made that deal happen without giving up a first round pick. Jordan McRae is our starting small forward. Not good, but we can't make a trade until a trade is offered. So he's going to be the guy for now as we have to trade Drummond for a shooting guard. Drew Holiday, welcome to the team. Reason why that's not terrible is Paul George can run small forward, of course, and Drew Holiday can run shooting guard. And I mean, we need help at that, that center position. So let's figure that out. But the rest of our roster is filled, and we still have a lot of picks. And these picks are valuable, man. Two and a half star pick. Yusuf Nurkic. Deal. Don't even got to see the rest of the office. Yusuf Nurkic is that. Starting lineup is fire. As we all know, this is not going to last very long. But So let's take advantage of it and try to win as many games before the next GM called my phone. Because apparently we're having a fire sale. Zach Levine for sure. It do he doesn't fit because we need a point guard. But Drew Holiday. Hmm. Brandon Clark is coming to the team to help us in the bench because we definitely didn't have any bench productivity. Um, so let's see what the next trade is. Buddy healed for Zach Levine. I mean, the good thing about these trades is that usually they're attaching a pick onto it. Um, so we have like, we just have so, look how many first round picks we have right now from just accepting other people's trades. Kemba Walker. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Okay, so we're only 19 games to the season, and we've probably done a thousand trades. Like not like it's just so many. It's been so many trades, and we had a trade for John Wall. Fine, fine. I mean, what am I gonna say to stop it? John Wall can play shooting guard, I guess. Crazy thing about it all, we're trading Kemba for two firsts. These firsts are again super valuable, but Kemba for two firsts is undoubtedly just a bad deal. Um, but John Wall in the first from one of those firsts we just got. I would do that deal, but we can't trade back for Zach Levine. But Ben Simmons, on the other hand, is a yes. I mean, regardless, our team is going to be good. Jamal Murray and Malcolm Brogdon, sure. Ben Simmons, you're putting up MVP caliber numbers, shooting 40% from three. Sorry, we got to ship you off. We are contributing contributing to so many, like, players ended up in different destinations. It's, in, it's incredible. Jamal Murray, Malcolm Brogdon, Paul George, Bam, and Yusuf Nurkic is the starting lineup at the moment. And we're not even halfway through with the season. So we've already done a gazillion trades. And we just went a whole week with no trade offers. Oh, my God. And now we have to trade Jamal Murray for Kobe? Ah, that's a bad trade. I got to flip Kobe, bro. He's the homie, bro. He's the homie. But I need to flip him ASAP for a better PG. D'Angelo Russell is our guy. <laughs> Don't even think twice. D'Angelo Russell. I feel like we cycle through every point guard that's not untouchable, but it's still pretty good. We've had them all. Kemba, Cal Lowry, D'Angelo Russell, Ben Simmons, uh, just everyone you can think of has been on our team. And now we got to trade Malcolm Brogdon for Laurie Marketing. There's this thing in this game now, and I don't know if this is new because I didn't see it before. They're like, the players that have blonde hair or like brown hair, look how bad Laurie Marketing looks now. 
Was that the case early in this game? Or with that new update, they changed that, and now he looks like, I don't know. But he just looks bad. He looks real bad. What about Russell Westbrook? We ain't had him on the team yet, have we? So let's bring him in. Another untouchable point guard. And yeah, this is how I was thinking about running it. them in the backcourt together. Yusuf Nurkic is going to start. I mean, the team is just weird. But it, it doesn't make sense to make any like crazier trades because just like that, we got to get rid of Russell Westbrook. You know what I'm saying? So he played a total of like a game for us and then we had to ship him out. We have so many power forwards that I'm going to have to ship one of them out. And it's going to have to be Julius Randle got to go. I'm sorry, bro. We need a shooting guard. Chris Paul? Sure. We're running out of point guards now. We're running out of point guards to potentially trade for. Yep. Chris Paul, D'Angelo Russell, Paul George, Bam Adebayo, Yusuf Nurkic. Keep it moving. There's no trade deadline, too. You know, if that's what thought you thought was going to save us, it, it didn't. But we did get a few weeks into the season before we had to do this trade, which is for Jeff Teague. Bringing Jeff Teague back. I'm pretty sure he was on this team earlier, right? Yeah, because he's a shooting guard now, which means that he had to be on my team because I'm the only GM in the world that's out here changing people's position. DeAndre Aiden is not untouchable. Like, look, this pick is so valuable. All of these guys we've traded for before as far as guard play goes. Devin Booker and, and DeMar DeRozan? Sure. Get the gang together. D'Angelo Russell goes back to a point guard. Cool. W, like, okay, even with all of these trades, I still don't see us losing anything in the playoffs at all. But we have to trade Devin Booker for Freddie. Ah, that's annoying. That's so annoying. Um, cause it's cause you know you understand why, right? Because it's freaking Devin Booker. It's deep book, but we're only a week and a half left of the season. Do not sell me. Do not sell me at the very last. <sighs> Two days left. Nothing. Cool. All right, we're going to the playoffs. Here are the awards. And have you noticed something different? Yeah. Do you remember that one time in the video I can the Aaron Fox was six man of the year? That's funny. Our most approved went to Freddie. He's on our team now. Um, do you remember that video that I posted? Was it last week where the six man of the year little thing right here, the Kia six man of the year was covering the name? Well, in 2K's latest patch, they got rid of the name completely. It's gone. No more. Instead of just raising Kia up a little bit, they got rid of the names completely. So, you know. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I mean, it don't matter at the end of the day. It's all cos cosmetic, not cosmetic. Is, is that the right word? I think it is cosmetic. Um, So it's not that big of a deal. I just think it's funny that that was their solution. It wasn't to just up it. They just took it out completely. All right, playoff time. We're going against Jalen Brown, Jimmy Butler, Marcus Morris, and Mitchell Robinson. Ty Jerome is their point guard. Freddie, go ahead, eat. Freddie, go ahead, eat. I knew it, bro. Ty Jerome is your PG? Come on, bro. Cut it out. Oh. Oh, Chad Jerome put up some pretty good numbers, huh? 2-1 us. Uh-huh, 3-1. And we're out of there to go to the second round to go against the Houston Rockets, who have LeBron. Gotcha. So we made a trade with this team earlier. They have Colin Sexton. We beat him. Um, not by a lot, but we, you know, we held LeBron to under 20 points. That's a W. Game two, we win. LeBron has a little over 20, but not a crazy game either. Like, we, he's only averaging 21. <laughs> he's only averaging 21. DeMar's averaging more than that, LeBron. You can now play by DeMar? That'll be that'll be the first, right? As many times as they match up against each other in the playoffs, this will be the first time that's ever happened. LeBron, come on, bro. He's just not even, he's not even, he's not even trying, bro. He wasn't even swinging back in that series. Tyler Hero, Tobias Harris, Jason Tatum, Montrez Hero. Bro, this team is young. And if this wasn't a one-year challenge, that would be a dangerous team with JT, Hero, and Markel. But it is a one-year challenge, so I'm not worried about them. We win game one. Paul George. Y'all was saying stuff about him in the playoffs, and he heard y'all. Good first game. Game two. Paul George. Come on, PG. Shut him up. Shut him up, PG. Get him to the finals, PG. That's great. Okay, so we're in the finals. I didn't know how this is going to go. We're going against Luka, though, so let me, let me close my mouth until it's over. We win game one. Not SimCast Live. Okay. All right. Accidentally went SimCast Live. Y'all know SimCast Live. It's, it, does anybody use this feature? Like, I'm. I, if you do, that's cool. I just never heard of anybody using SimCast Live. You know? Never. Never, ever, ever heard somebody use SimCast Live. So, I don't even know. Maybe there is a lot of people that use it, but I just haven't seen it. DeMar is actually playing a lot better than expected. Is DeMar making a case... Is DeMar making a case for me to trade for him more in these rebuilds? Because I very rarely ever trade for DeMar DeRozan. Wow. And Freddie won finals MVP, averaging 12 and 10 and three steals. I never trade for DeMar, but I might start, bro. The dude was out there hooping. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave it a like. 
um fun challenge as always i thought it was going to have a little bit more difficulty to it but it just so happened that every pick that we got traded was like crazy valuable crazy value shout out to the knicks if you enjoyed leave it a like i'll be back tomorrow peace